Hello everyone, John Stanko of ICGales.com, being joined by senior Rachel Garn, your Iona College Female Student Athlete of the Week. Rachel, you took second place individually at the 23rd annual Brother John Paidoio Meet of Champions. What did, what did Director of Cross Country and Track and Field, Ricardo Santos, say to you in the huddle before the race? Uh, so for a few of us, it was our first race of the season. Um, we were kind of using it as a rust buster, get the legs moving. Um, so he, I don't know, kind of just told us, stay focused, work together in the back hills. And, yeah. <laughs> Is the Rust Buster a term that the Iona Cross Country Program has made up, or is that something that's just known throughout the racing community? Because I never heard of it before, like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, no, I think I think that's a term that a lot of runners use. Um, I don't know, it just kind of means you know, get your legs moving, and you haven't raced in a while, so get back into things. Well, we know Van Corwin Park is a very, very tough track, and Jack O'Leary, who came in second in the men's race, said that last hundred meters is incredibly difficult and tough to read. What do you think he meant by that? Um, I think. It's probably once you get out of the woods, you can see the finish line, but you still have like half a mile left in the race. So it's kind of you're kind of tempted to start kicking like once you see the finish, but you kind of have to like hold back a little bit because if, if you kick then you might, you know, die a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to burn your engines too quick. Yeah. Now, last year, the Iona team recaptured the MAC title. What's the key to making sure you, you keep that belt with the maroon and gold this year? Um, there's definitely a lot of pressure that comes with that in defending the title, but I think our team's ready for it. Um, we're definitely keeping that in the back of our mind that it's a priority to defend the title and we're working towards that. So it's a good goal to have in mind for motivation during the season. Now throughout your career here at Iona, you, you've taken part in cross country, indoor track and field, and outdoor track and field. So what are the differences in training for those three different seasons and do you have a preference as to which one you like best? Um, I would say maybe the biggest difference, for me at least, is like for cross country, a lot of the training happens during the summer. And for most of us, um, it's a lot of solo training. Um, so for that reason, it's kind of more difficult for cross country training. Um, in terms of mileage, I guess, a lot of us go down a little bit when it comes to indoor and outdoor track just because our events are shorter. But I mean, we still put in a good bit of mileage. Um, I would say my favorites, uh, I don't know, that's that's tough, but it's it's definitely down to either cross country or outdoor track. Yeah, I, I love the both, so it's tough. Well, we wish you the best of luck in all the upcoming seasons forward, and you have the Paul Short Invitational coming up in a couple weekends, so we wish you and your team the best of luck. That's Rachel Garn, the Arena College Female Student Athlete of the Week.